Hey Discovery students, here's how you can make a wheel for your wheel and axle car in using three different materials. So the first one I'm going to show you is how to cut it out, um, how to trace and cut your own wheel out of cardboard. I think this is the easiest method. You don't need any help. Um, you should be able to do this one by yourself. So let me show you. The best thing is just to start by finding something you can trace that's already in the shape of a nice circle. Okay, so I'm going to use this um, roll of tape. Okay, and um, I'm just gonna lay it down. And I'm going to trace a circle around that with a pen or a pencil. like that thin um, like I said this is an old tissue box it's like that thin cardboard it'll be easier to cut um, but a stiff cardboard like an Amazon box that might be a little bit sturdier which means it's a little bit thicker it's a little bit tougher it might make um, a sturdier wheel and there you go now you have four wheels so that when you attach them with an axle, they will roll, okay? So one thing that you're gonna need to do is make a hole in these for your axle. And that's that long, that rod that's gonna go through these that will allow it to rotate like that. Um, and depending on what you use for your axle may determine how big you need to poke your hole. I would recommend um, poking a hole by using a hole punch, especially a single hole punch. Um, the one I have in my classroom is kind of a mini hole punch, but if you have a, a big one, that would be fine too. You just want to make sure that you get it right in the middle, okay? So you may even want to draw your um, draw your dot first so you know that it's in the middle. And then you punch it out, and now I've got a hole for my axle. Um, and then if you needed to make it a little bigger, you could make um, another couple punches to make the hole bigger. Or you could do something like um, stick a pen or a pencil through it now that you got that hole started. Okay? And there you now go. I'm going to show you the next type of uh, material you can use for a wheel. If you happen to have some of these plastic lids laying around, um, this one may have came off like a can of coffee. Um, I don't totally remember where this came from, but if you've got these little wheels, these are, they're, are discs. They make nice wheels because they're already in the shape. You just have to cut out the center. But um, cutting out a hole in the center for your axle is gonna require using something like the craft knife. And this would this is gonna have to be done with a grown-up or grown-up supervision. Um, so this isn't my first choice because you do have to use this knife to kind of cut out a section of this, okay? And like I said, depending on what you use for the middle will depend on how big that hole needs to be. Set that aside. Another option that you could do, still needs adult supervision, but a little bit easier, is it if you use a little bottle cap, you can use a bottle cap as a wheel, okay? It's already um, in the shape of a circle, which is nice, but there's no hole in it for that axle. Um, but to create a hole for a thin axle, you could use something like a um, push pin. So because this is still sharp, you're still gonna want grown-up supervision to do this, but you would just be able to poke a hole. Oh, it's kind of hard for you to be able to see. Okay, poke a hole, and then now you can kind of you can wiggle it around to make it a little bigger. Now let's talk about the things that you can use for axles. Remember the axles are the thing that are, the rods that are gonna go through your wheel that allow it to rotate in a circle. If you're using a smaller wheel, for instance, um, like either of these two, uh, I have a couple of suggestions. One of them would be to unfold a paper clip 
because that's going to be pretty thin. You can unfold a paper clip. You do just want to get it pretty straight, so um, do your best to get it straight or your car is going to go all wobbly. But that could be used as an axle. You would just need to poke it through. So that, remember, I already made that little hole. And you do want the holes to, you do want them to fit kind of snug. You don't want a big gap. So for instance, this hole that I made, this axle is gonna be too little. This hole might be better for a big axle like, um, like a pencil or like a straw, okay? Well, my hole is still even a little bit too big for this straw. If you do make it too big, you can fill in with like a little bit of Play-Doh or clay to make it fit a little bit tighter. That's another good trick, okay? Um, another thing you can use, this would be for a small hole, would be like a toothpick, okay? So my toothpick would kind of fit right in that hole that I made for my pin earlier. That's a pretty snug fit. But even with the axles, there's a couple different ways that you can attach them to your car. Okay, so the first option for your, your chassis, which is kind of like the body of the car or the school bus or whatever vehicle, um, you can use something that you already have. I like toilet paper rolls. You can poke through them if you need to. You can tape on the back of them. This is just something I had laying around the classroom. You can use an old water bottle. This is actually just a scrap water bottle. That's fine, it doesn't have to be beautiful. Um, you can also use, for instance, a tissue box. That would be a good thing to use as well. All right, so here is my example of my little car that has a wheel and axle at the front and the back of the chassis, so two sets. Um, so let me show you. Uh, for the back set of wheels, I use the little cardboard um, cutouts like I showed you before. And for the axle, I actually used this um, little pencil. It was one that was kind of shorter, so um, it didn't move around so much. Got this paper towel tube as my chassis. Um, and then I actually used something different for the front set just to show you the different options you can have. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. Whoops. Well, that guy already fell out. That's okay. One thing to be aware of is that you're going to need your wheels to be firmly on your axles. So I said that before, you wanna make sure they're nice and sturdy. So if you need to like tape them in place or glue them down um, to make sure they don't move, that's fine. Now, the axle, when the axle rotates, the whole axle is gonna rotate inside the um, car. So, and both of them are moving at the same side because it's the same axle going through both wheels. So you see, I have enough space, the hole in my car um, is big enough to where this is not a very firm fit. So I don't want this hole to be a firm fit because I want this to be able to twist easily, but I want this to be firm so that when the whole axle rotates, the wheel stays put. So you'll see when I roll, the whole, the axle and the pencil is twisting and that's making those wheels go around. So now let me show you what I did for the other side. This is a, this is a little, a, a bit of another technique. So instead of just poking a hole directly through the chassis, I actually used kind of like a two part axle system. So I used um, for the wheel, you see these little bottle caps, and the axle, I have um, this, this is part of that um, paper clip that I said you could try and use. And what I did is I taped a little bit of a straw. This is like a little plastic straw. I taped that to my um, chassis, the part of my, my car. And so that part doesn't move at all. But what does move is, you can kind of see it from the side here, is that when I twist the wheel, the um, paper clip axle is moving inside that little um, straw. So we have rotation with our wheel here, and then we have our stationary piece here. And there you go, two different ways to make a wheel and axle. 
Make sure that it works the way you want it to by actually testing it. If it does not, if the wheels aren't rolling when you push it, if it's just kind of sliding like this, instead of actually rolling, what you might um, find is that your um, hole for your axle, um, if you do it this way, it may be that this hole is not big enough, or if you do it with this way, same thing, it may be that this axle doesn't have enough space to actually move freely. And there you go, my friends. Enjoy.